year ago, on the night of September 26th, 100 students from the Ayotzinapa Rural School came here to the town of Iguala, and 46 of them haven't been heard from since. Thanks to witness reports and a new independent investigation, we now know a lot more about what happened that night. It was an attack, a coordinated operation involving every level of Mexican security forces and most likely organized crime. Here's how it went down. The students were commandeering buses to help transport them to Mexico City for a commemorative march. Since they don't have enough money to rent buses, commandeering is something that they often do, convince a bus driver to drive them around for school activities. At the Iguala bus station, the students commandeered two more buses, but as they tried to leave town, municipal police moved in. At this intersection, police blocked the students who defended themselves with rocks. It was at this corner that things got lethal. The police shot student Aldo Gutierrez, putting him into a coma. His classmates ran. Around 30 of them were caught and loaded onto police trucks. It was the last time they would be seen. Two of the buses managed to escape, but didn't get far. One was stopped in front of Iguala's Palace of Justice. The students inside haven't been heard from since. Students in the other bus watched from above. Farther down the road, they too were stopped by police, but they were let go. Meanwhile, at the first intersection, the police had already cleaned the crime scene of blood and shell casings. It was around midnight and local journalists and others had arrived. Suddenly, gunmen in black fatigues and face masks approached the small crowd and opened fire. Two Ayotzinapa students lay dead in the street. By the next morning, security forces had killed three students and three bystanders. But it's what happened to 43 students who were taken by police that still remains a mystery. The official story from Mexico's attorney general said that police handed the students to a local drug gang that killed them and burned their bodies in a garbage dump in the nearby town of Cocula. But an independent investigation revealed serious flaws in that official story. Based on their six-month investigation, they found it would have been scientifically impossible that 43 bodies were burned in Cocula. They say the smoke would have been seen for miles and that the flames would have started a forest fire, neither of which happened. And one of the five buses the students commandeered was never reported in the official investigation. The commission believes this bus may be linked to the motive behind the attack. Iguala is a major hub for the heroin trade, and drugs are known to be transported to the U.S. on commercial buses. Perhaps the students commandeered the wrong bus, and the order was given at every level not to let them leave Iguala. While the mayor and his wife and over 100 police and suspects have been arrested, military officers, high-ranking police, and the Iguala Secretary of Public Security remain free. Many are demanding the investigation be reopened. Some are demanding that President Enrique Peña Nieto step down. But everyone is left shaking their heads at the terror and the lies in every corner of this dark story.